Hey, welcome to the Backyard Professor videos. I just learned from my good friend Derek Lambert from Myth Vision that Dr. Michael S. Heiser, world-renowned biblical scholar, has died. And it's a sad day for a lot of us in the biblical studies arena. Uh, what I remember most about Michael Heiser is he was kind enough when I read his debate with the Mormon scholar, the then Mormon scholar, David Bakavoy, over the Council of the Gods. And this was had in a, an, a Mormon apologetic venue called the Farms Review of Books. They discussed the idea of the Council of the Gods and they had a back and forth and David Bakavoy allowed Michael Heiser the last word. They were very gentlemanly, but they did come to different conclusions about uh, Jesus being the only begotten Son of God, etc., and how the Greek reads. But the thing I remember about Dr. Heiser the best is his enormous interest and his stellar scholarship on the Hebrew Bible and his recognition of the importance of the Hebrew language and the Jewish cultural milieu of the Old Testament. And he recognized and knew and talked about the serious significance and the influence of the other ancient neighbors of ancient Israel, the Mesopotamian, the Assyrian, the Babylonian. Uh, he worked in the cuneiform and the Ugaritic materials as well. He was kind enough to give me his a copy of his doctoral dissertation, The Divine Council in Late Canonical and Non-Canonical Second Temple Jewish Literature. You can see that I read it so many times and I made my own index. He did his doctoral dissertation in 2004, and it is a huge dissertation with X extensive analysis of the Hebrew Council of the Gods and all of the places in the Hebrew literature and its influence and the meaning for the ancient Jewish prophets such as Isaiah and Jeremiah and Micah, etc., and how it affected the theology as it came down through the centuries. It's, it's well over uh, 300 pages. It's a big study. And then I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, that this is his last book, The Unseen Realm, Recovering the Supernatural Worldview of the Bible by Michael Heiser, wherein he is discussing the, and it, from Lexham Press, and he is discussing the idea of the worldview of the ancient council of the gods as influencing from the unseen world, our own world copyright 2015. Uh, I know he just recently did an incredible documentary on this. It is to be found on YouTube, and I would highly encourage you to watch that documentary. But I didn't get to know Dr. Heiser extremely well, but I was friends with him on the phone. I had a few conversations with him. I had quite a few online chats with him in various uh message board chat rooms etc wherein i was asking him some questions about the hebrew and he contributed quite a bit of uh, scholarly material to me on that and uh, i read his his dissertation twice i at the time was a mormon apologist and i really enjoyed his take on it and also the take from the mormon scholar who is no longer Mormon, interestingly enough, uh, David Bakavoy, who was also a powerhouse biblical scholar on the Council of the Gods, as is TikTok sensation Daniel McClellan, who is also a good friend of mine. I, I don't know if I can call him a good friend, but he's a friend. I have videoed Dan McClellan years and years ago when I was at a fair conference down in Utah. I did a video discussion with him, and he and I would bounce ideas off each other on the ancient council of the gods. So it is a, 
a sad day for us biblical researchers and people who want to, instead of trying to tell the Bible what to say and mean from our modern biases and hopes and desires, to let the biblical material itself say and tell us what it's all about. That was Michael Heiser, and he did an enormous amount of good in the world for helping so many of us respect the Hebrew. I remember him telling me several different lexicons and dictionaries, which I have over here in my bookshelf, that I ought to acquire. That is fantastic materials to learn the Hebrew. I never got completely fluent with Hebrew, but I did get enough of the lexicons and the dictionaries to where I can look anything up that I need to and get a broader contextual and a a sound philological, exegetical, scriptural background and understanding so that I can see how the Old Testament, of course, is different from our day, and yet it has incredibly interesting commentary that could benefit us for today. So it is with somewhat sadness and and, uh, looking back on the many conversations I had with him and remembering me reading his materials that I honor Dr. Michael S. Heiser and thank him for a life very well lived. He died far too young of cancer, unfortunately. Uh, We were hoping to get much more from his mighty pen. He is on YouTube with several different... uh, videos and interviews. I would highly recommend you look him up on YouTube and listen to his wisdom. Dr. Michael Heiser, thank you for all the wisdom that you shared with your bright light and keen intellect while you were here on earth. We have benefited greatly from your research and your truly opening us up to what biblical scholarship is supposed to be all about. We will miss you, good friend. Have a good time in the sky.